Hi everyone and welcome to another part of the Solidity Tutorials. In this part we're going to uh, take a look at some of the voting smart contracts that we have already had up to now and then write a more complete version of the voting.sol. So let's take a look at some of our voting uh, smart contracts. The first one was simplevote.sol. So as you can see it was a simple one, just two mappings and a function for voting so uh, if i save this and deploy it you will see that uh, we have just a few options for voting so you would uh, just vote to someone who has not been determined so uh, there is no one actually out there uh, you can vote to anyone that you like and then it will the con the contract will check whether you have voted or not and then it uh, counts the vote of the specific name so this is not in an, in the real world because uh, when we vote to someone, then uh, this is uh, then the um, candidates are predetermined. But right here, this uh, does not predetermine the uh, candidates. So let's take a look at the second vote that we had, which was so-called complex vote. But this one wasn't that much complex and complete. It was this was uh, another easy smart contract but uh, it had this hashing algorithm for the voters that we put here but um, ap apart from this there was nothing more uh, fancy about this smart contract so um, here there seems to be a problem okay we don't have the uh, ending brackets now it's compiled so let's deploy it and close the previous one so let's deploy this so I don't think there is any difference um, yes you can here register the candidates but uh, it's better for the smart contract that before the deployment we uh, have the candidates determined and then uh, start the voting process but here you can register a candidate vote to him or her and then uh, register another candidate so there is no such kind of rule instead of this smart contract to have uh, stages of voting so before the voting starts uh, the candidates need to be determined and then we will, deter we will start the voting but here uh, we won't have uh, any of those so there is no difference between this one and the previous one so I would rather change the name of complex vote to something else such as vote 2 because this is not a complex vote kind of vote but uh, it was a complex one compared to the uh, previous vote so um, we had the simple vote the complex vote but uh, here up to now uh, from now on we will call this uh, vote to vote 3 so let's take a look at this one and now I'm gonna create a new contract vote 3 so in order to do this let's create a new file so let's uh, create a new file in the contracts folder and I'm gonna call this <coughs> vote 3 dot soul and there we go so just as always we'll copy the first two lines here we are and now we'll create a contract and call this voting voting and open brackets so we'll have a struct at first struct candidate candidate and we'll open the bra brackets here the uint 256 id uint 256 id and a string name by the way it you don't need necessarily need to set it as the uint 256 because the id we do not have uh, so many candidates that you need to uh, put that much number in it so it could be you into even eight right so it doesn't really matter so and it's better to choose um, a kind of 
uh, identifier that is uh, that uh, doesn't take a lot of memory. So uint 8 ID is better choice and uint 256 for vote count is the right option because uh, the number of, of voters are not determined and they might be even millions of votes. So uh, vote count here and then we've got a mapping uint 256 to candidates, public candidates, so uh, actually here it could be uint 8 because it's the ID of the candidate. So for each candidate we've got an ID, the name and the vote count, right? And uh, I don't think this is a vote count, this is the candidates, right? So uh, here we could set the uint to 56 for the candidate. to the uh, candidate public candidates here we go and another mapping for the address to boolean address to boolean public has voted and then you into 256 uh, total votes you into 256 total votes so it should be public and uh, you int 256 public candidate count. You int. So here uh, for the for this one, you int 256 public candidates count candidates count. And here we go. So we will define the event for uh, the vote casted. Vote casted. So you int to fifty six index candidate ID. You int. So because the candidate ID is you int eight, we can set you int eight index. But um. Because some of the times uh, for the ID we could set a very large number uh, in the decentralized applications we could set this unit to 56 and also for here in order to make sure everything's fine so I will from now on use to unit to 56 for all of them so that nothing's uh, nothing finds trouble so um, index candidate ID can the date ID address index voter address index voter here we go And then the constructor define a constructor and a string. So it's an array of strings, memory candidate's name. So we'll put the candidate's name inside of the um, array. Memory can the dates name names plural so at the beginning of the uh, deployment of the smart contract we will uh, enter some of the names for uh, starting the smart contracts which are the candidates names 
so for each one of the candidates name uh, first of all we require that the names that length be greater than zero so the first requirement is that the candidates name candidates names dot length be greater than zero and otherwise at least one candidate needed so at least one candidate is required and then we'll write a for loop to iterate to the array of the candidate's name so for uint to 56 i equals 0 semicolon i is smaller than the candidate's name not length i is smaller than candidates the dates candidates name or candidate names dot length and i plus plus so we'll open the brackets here and candidates candidate count plus plus so candidate count has been defined here plus plus and candidates candidate count candidate count equals the candidate candidate so candidate count and the underlying candidates names i names i and zero here we go so that's it so let's find okay this is the struct candidate which is uh, the ID name and the vote count so uh, candidate count is the ID candidates name uh, this is the name and this is the vote count which is uh, zero at the beginning so that's it for the for loop and the constructor so we have a number of functions in this smart contract but we'll continue the functions in the next video so until the next one goodbye